Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, June 2nd, 2017. This week how to align an image across two template pages in Photoshop and Elements. When you're working on a double page template like some of Katie Pertit's side-by-side -side layered template sets, you'll occasionally want to use one photo which spans the gap between the two pages. It can be really tricky to line up the photo so that each side matches exactly when the pages are printed. Here's a strategy for perfectly aligning the photo between the two sides of the template. Begin by opening Photoshop or Elements. Select File, New, or press Ctrl N or on a Mac system Command N on the keyboard and create a new document that's 24 inches wide by 12 inches high with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Choose RGB and 8-bit for the color mode and then hit Create. Next, open up both sides of the template. Here's the left and the right and I'll choose Open. Choose Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows so that you can see all of the documents at one time. And then you can manipulate them by moving the title bars around. Select the document that contains the left side of the template. From the menu bar, choose Image, Trim. Take all of the boxes under Trim Away and choose OK. This will delete all of the parts of the image that fall outside of the square canvas. Now, over in the Layers panel, click the top layer of the template document and then scroll down and hit the Shift key as you select the bottom layer. This selects all of the layers of the template. Drag the selected layers directly from the Layers panel onto the 24 by 12 inch document that you created. With all of the layers still selected, drag them to the left so that they line up with the left side of your new document. Repeat the process with the right side of the template. Image, Trim, and then select the top layer, hold down the Shift key and select the bottom layer so that all of the layers are selected, and then drag them directly from the Layers panel over onto the template then drag them into place. Next I'm going to close the right side of the template to get that out of our way. Select one of the photo placeholders that spans the gap in the page. Open a large photo and use the move tool to drag the photo onto your document and position it above the photo placeholder so that it spans the page. Drag it into position and resize it if necessary. Pay attention to both sides of the page so that you'll get your photo centered the way you want it. Press alt Control g or on a Mac System Option Command-G to clip the placeholder to the photo. Now in older versions of Elements, just choose Control g or on a Mac System Command-G. This causes the photo to take on the shape of the placeholder, so now you'll only see a portion of the photo. Next, copy the photo by selecting it and pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. Drag the photo copy up or down the layers panel until it rests one position above the other side of the template. You want it one position above the photo placeholder on that side. To make it a little bit easier to find, I select the photo placeholder and then right click on the layer visibility icon on the left side of the layer and choose a color. For this I'll choose green. Then I'll go back to my photo copy and then I'll use the green to help guide me as to where I want to position that photo. This is especially helpful when there's a lot of layers. With the photo in place, create a clipping mask by pressing alt Control g or on a Mac System Option Command-G or in some older versions of Elements, just Control g or Command-G. Now your photo will be seamlessly positioned across the two pages. At this point, you can either go ahead and finish embellishing the page, or you can go ahead and crop the page right now into two sides and then finish embellishing. To do this, you'll get the Crop tool. Choose width and height resolution of 12 inches by 12 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Position the crop square on the left side of the page. 
and then press enter on the keyboard. Choose File, Save As, and give this side of the document a new name. I usually give it a name like something something left. Make sure to save it as a Photoshop or layer document and hit save. Undo the crop by pressing alt Control z on the keyboard and repeat the process with the right side of the page. Choose File, Save As, and again save it as a layer document with a name like something something right. Using this method you'll have two coordinating pages with a photo that runs across them and your photo will line up perfectly when it's printed. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.